everybody, and welcome to another Linfield Coaches Catch Chat. Joe Stewart out here with head Linfield football coach Joseph Smith. Coach, how are you doing today? Doing great, thank you. And off to a 1-0 and start. You should be uh, doing great. As you just got to have the bye week, but uh, two weeks ago now already, uh, the win against Huntington College, 41-34 win down in Muggy, Alabama. They had a packed house. The band was bumping, and that was a pretty good team that you beat down there. What are the benefits, especially after a season like last year where you had so many blowouts, what are the benefits of winning a tight game against a really tough team in a hostile environment like that early on in the year? Well, I've always felt like you learn an awful lot from a loss. Um, and, and I guess in a close game like that, you're able to maybe learn the same things but mm -hmm. still have a W. So, um, <laughs> you know, a lot of the, the areas we have to clean up were exposed. And, um, you know, so that's a, a really good thing to learn about your team. But I guess what I liked the most was, was just the – the the resolve and the grit that that I thought our team showed it, it really was a, a very difficult place to play, mm -hmm. uh, not just because of a very fine opponent, but also because of uh, maybe a few other people on the field that we were playing against possibly and and they wouldn't have been happy to wear black and white. <laughs> would they? I can't say that or not, but maybe you know and and then just the 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 conditions were really yeah. really difficult. I I'm so proud of our training staff. They did a wonderful job of preparing our guys and we handled handled the. The cramping issue so much better than we've done in the past so i was really proud of that but um, it was a great win for us those guys were good i mean they beat uh, birmingham southern this last week you know both playoff teams mm -hmm. so that was a playoff caliber team yeah yeah big shout out to Dwayne dewey and the training staff for keeping those mm -hmm. cramps at a minimum uh blake eaton had thrown three career passes going into that game and he gets his first career start even though he did have a couple of picks he still lit it up 340 yards four touchdowns ran in for two more what do you like out of him? And I'm sure, of course, still a young quarterback. What could, what's there to be cleaned up still? Well, I think the just the the pressure and the the anxiety of of starting, you know, your first game is quite high at any position. But it's it's hard to probably quantify that just how difficult that is mm -hmm. to play here at that position with the the history of players that have gone before you and the expectations and. In some ways, you know, there's just a lot stacked against Blake in terms of the pressure component of it, and I'm just really proud of him. I thought he handled that well. Um, he played to his strengths and, and let let the receivers do what they do and and let the running backs do what they do, and and he he just played great. We're just really pleased with him. Yeah, and uh, he got some help in that backfield too, as, as we mentioned. He he can do some things with his feet. Uh, had those two touchdowns and 20 yards on the ground, but. Uh, you guys were able to run the ball for over 120 yards despite missing lead tailback Connor McNabb. Expected that he should be back for the Redlands game, but how about the depth in that running back stable for Coach McAnally? I mean, Connor Moore and Bishop Mitchell, Aaron Martinez, the list just seems to go on. What were your thoughts on the run game? Well, I, I agree. The the depth was tremendous, and, and we needed it to be so in terms of, uh, you know, Mr. Morton was, was hurting a little bit, so he, suddenly, you know, both Connors were out, and mm -hmm. And I thought, uh, you know, the guys filled in nicely and, and did some really good things. They, they ran the ball hard. They, they blocked well, ran the offense good. All can catch out of the backfield. So, um, and they're all vital on special teams. You know, those guys are all playing big roles on all of our special teams. So um, I'm very proud of that group. Yeah, yeah, hard not to be with the way that they have been able to just keep evolving. Last year it looked strong. This year it looks like it could be an even stronger strength of, of the offense. Defensively, pass rush looked good as we expected. Travis Swanson walks away with Defensive Player of the Week for the Northwest Conference. Blake Rybar had a great game, uh, again, the start there at linebacker. Uh, but a couple of questions in the secondary still. You did uh, have an injury as Justin Fowl goes down with an arm injury. Um, and a couple of touchdowns go in for Huntington on a bit of broken plays, two over 60 yards. What needs to be cleaned up defensively to limit those big plays from your opponents? Well, it's never one simple answer. I wish it were, you know, we're looking for that simple fix. But I, mm -hmm. I think it's a multitude of things. And we're just, uh, when, when, in, whenever you're inexperienced, um, you just, you got to learn through failure sometimes. And, and uh, I wish that wasn't the case, but oftentimes that is the case. And so uh, just, just really getting comfortable in our assignments and, and eyes and, and making decisions. I think some of those really came back to bite us. And, and I, I expect that group to get better and better um, with each week. Looking ahead to this upcoming weekend, homecoming weekend, going to be a lot of alums around, going to be a great environment as you bring back the Redlands Bulldogs. We just saw in the first round of the playoffs last year, but of course went down there to play in the regular season over the last few years. A lot of meetings between uh, the Cats and the Dogs. 
However, this year they come in 0-2, and you got to imagine they'll be pretty hungry. How do you have the team avoid the complacency of not only we already know how to beat these guys, but also this is not maybe the same team talent-wise that you've seen over the last couple of years? How do you stay ready? For right, right. Well, game? I think, you know, hopefully we're being self-referent in terms of, of uh, our goals, and, and that should be always the case here. We <clears throat> certainly have plenty of things that we can fix from, from week one and know where we would like to be, and we're not there yet. So, um, you know, we've got a lot of improvement that still has to be made, and, and so, you know, on one hand, we should just be focused on ourselves no matter who we're playing, but on the other hand, uh, we know it's a very dangerous team and, and a very dangerous program, well coached. They got good athletes. They shouldn't be 0-2. That's, that's just maybe some bad breaks on sure. you know for them and um, we know they'll be hungry we know they they'll be very motivated to play so uh, we, we fully expect to have our hands full and and we will yeah I gotta say before we go I love the shirt uh, congratulations Wyatt Smith Tyler Sinton on completion of your first pro season with the Munich Cowboys over in Germany coach good luck this weekend and all thanks right for the time. thank you